We live in a society in which everyone wants to be successful and happy. We often believe if we work hard, we will become successful and once we become successful, then we will be happy. This pattern of belief explains what most often motivates us. If you also believe this, then there is good news. This entire belief of ours is false. You don't need to be successful to be happy. But to be successful, you need to be happy. Sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? The thing is, this entire belief is based on seeing happy faces of all the successful people. We assume they are so happy because they are so successful. But the thing is, they were happy even before they got success. So what role does happiness play in being successful? Well, a lot. Success revolves around happiness, not the other way around. Why is it so? Well, very simple. It is in our neurobiology. When we experience positive emotions, our brains become flooded with dopamine and serotonin. Both of these chemicals make us feel good and boost the parts of our brains responsible for learning and retaining information. In an experiment performed on high school students to see in what mood they perform their best, students primed to feel happy before taking math achievement tests far outperform their neutral peers. Even professional doctors are not immune to this effect. In a similar experiment, doctors who were given small lollipop before examining a patient outperform their neutral peer. It turns out that our brains are literally hardwired to perform at their best, not when they are negative or even neutral, but when they are positive. Some of today's largest companies have already picked up on this routine, such as Google, where employees are encouraged to bring their dogs to work, or Yahoo, where employees have access to a massage salon. Not only are these things fun and relaxing, but they also contribute to better performance. Data abounds showing that happy workers have higher levels of productivity, produce high sales, perform better in leadership positions and receive higher performance ratings as well as higher pay. They also enjoy more job security and are less likely to take sick days, quit or to become burned out. Happy CEOs are more likely to lead teams of employees who are both happy and healthy and who find their work climate conducive to high performance. The list of benefits can go on and on. Now how to use these facts for your benefit? Here are some tricks to follow the path of happiness. Number 1. Even the smallest shots of positivity can give someone a serious competitive edge. As I explained before, if you feel positive or happy before doing any task, your productivity will shoot up. You could feel positive by doing simple tasks such as reading a funny article online, watching a short humorous video clip, a quick conversation with a friend or taking a brisk walk around the block. All these suggestions may seem overly simple or even ridiculous in a serious work setting, but they really have a deep impact on our working. Give it a try. Number 2. Focusing on smaller changes One of the main drivers of success is the belief that we have control over our future as in, in fact one of the strongest drivers of well-being and performance. Those who believe they have power over their outcomes enjoy higher academic achievement, career accomplishment and are happier at work. Think of a successful athlete for example. She doesn't blame the referee or the weather when she loses or and certainly doesn't attribute her wins to stroke of fortune. This feeling of control can easily crumble. For instance, whenever our stress level rises to the point where we feel we can no longer keep up and when we place too much focus on the things we genuinely can't control, we become less happy, thereby losing our motivation and confidence. But hey, this control can be regained. At this point, one can push forward by concentrating on smaller goals. As you accomplish smaller goals, you regain confidence, you accumulate knowledge and resources, thereby you will be able to accomplish even greater goals. Number 3. Social support is your greatest asset. Most successful people invest in their friends, peers and family members to propel themselves forward. Successful people don't seek social interaction as wastage of time, they seek opportunity in it. Social interactions fill us with positivity, lower stress and strengthen our relationships over time. Thus, they raise our happiness baseline. Having a bad day? Just a quick call to your friend will act as an enormous stress buster. In fact, a Harvard study has shown that there is a strong correlation between success and the number of people you know. More people you know, more opportunity you will stumble upon. Even your grades don't guarantee a successful career as much as social interactions do. Go out and make friends. Last but not the least, 
train your brain to look for the positive over the negative. Happiness is not about lying to ourselves or turning a blind eye to the negative, but about adjusting our brain so that we see the ways to rise above our circumstances. Our mind is a pattern finding machine. It is always looking for patterns, and in general, we tend to find negative patterns everywhere. The good news is we can change that. One way is to direct your focus towards positivity would be to make a ritual of writing down three good things that happened the day before. This includes anything that was positive. It doesn't have to be profound. It could be a joke that made you laugh, an accomplishment, what are you grateful for, etc. While the task is simple, it requires consistency to be effective. If you can develop this habit, then you will constantly be on the lookout for positive experiences which will in turn increase the quality of your day and thus the quality of your life.